Return to Wild America, A Year-Long Search for the Continent's Natural Soul, by Scott Widensall is a captivating exploration of North America's natural wonders and the author's quest to reconnect with the continent's wild essence. Widensall, an acclaimed naturalist and writer, embarks on a year-long journey across the continent, retracing the steps of Roger Torrey Peterson and James Fisher, who in 1953 published the classic, Wild America. In doing so, Widensall delves into the rich biodiversity, history, and conservation challenges facing North America. The book is structured around the 12 months of the year, each chapter representing a different leg of Widensall's journey. This format not only provides a sense of chronology but also allows readers to experience the seasonal changes in the landscapes and wildlife he encounters. Widensall's prose is vivid and evocative, painting a vivid picture of the places he visits and the creatures he observes. His deep reverence for the natural world shines through in his writing, making the reader feel as if they are right there with him on his adventure. Widensall's journey takes him to a variety of habitats, from the rugged cliffs of Maine's coastal islands to the expansive grasslands of the Great Plains and the remote wilderness of Alaska. Along the way, he encounters a remarkable cast of characters, both human and animal. His encounters with scientists, conservationists, and everyday people who are dedicated to preserving North America's natural heritage provide valuable insights into the challenges and successes of conservation efforts. One of the book's strengths is Widensall's ability to weave historical context into his narrative. He seamlessly blends the past with the present, drawing on the writings of early naturalists, explorers, and indigenous peoples to illuminate the changes that have occurred in the natural world over time. This historical perspective adds depth to his observations and highlights the urgency of protecting the continent's remaining wild places. Throughout the book, Widensall grapples with the complex issues of conservation and environmental stewardship. He doesn't shy away from addressing the threats facing North America's ecosystems, including habitat loss, climate change, and species decline. However, he also offers hope and inspiration by showcasing the dedicated individuals and organizations working tirelessly to protect and restore the continent's natural treasures. Widensall's passion for birds is evident throughout the book, and he devotes several chapters to his birdwatching adventures. His enthusiasm for ornithology is infectious, and readers may find themselves developing a newfound appreciation for the avian species that inhabit North America. Whether tracking the migration of raptors in Pennsylvania or observing the nesting behaviors of Arctic seabirds, Widensall's descriptions are both educational and enthralling. In addition to birds, Widensall's encounters with other wildlife are equally captivating. From the elusive bobcat in the Appalachians to the charismatic sea otters off the California coast, his encounters with animals are filled with wonder and insight. These experiences underscore the importance of preserving intact ecosystems that support diverse and interconnected webs of life. As Widensall's year-long journey comes to a close, he reflects on the profound impact that nature has on the human soul. He eloquently describes the restorative power of wilderness and the need for individuals to forge a deeper connection with the natural world. Return to Wild America serves as a reminder that our own well-being is intricately linked to the health of the planet, and that protecting wild places is not only a moral imperative but a deeply personal one. In conclusion, Return to Wild America, a year-long search for the continent's natural soul, is a masterfully crafted work that celebrates the beauty and biodiversity of North America while also addressing the urgent need for conservation. Scott Widensall's lyrical prose, deep ecological insights, and heartfelt passion for the natural world make this book a must-read for anyone who cares about the future of our continent's wild places. It is a compelling call to action, 
urging us to reconnect with the wild and become stewards of the land, just as those who came before us did.